when I saw Fifty Shades of Grey, I said, I can't wait. I know Marlon Wayans is going to murder. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes out on the 29th and <laughs> Fifty Shades of Black, and you play Christian? Christian Black. <laughs> 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 of course. Yeah, Christian Black. He's rich, but you, you know he's rich. He, he's black. You, he don't know how he got his money. He's a little shady, like. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a he's he's a really. I made him a really bad lover. So, wow. <laughs> because when I saw the movie, you know, I went to that movie and I wanted to learn something. I was like, I Oh, this too. is free. Right, yeah, right, right. He had the most basic sex I ever seen. <laughs> I was really? Like, I, did, I did this freshman year in college. <laughs> <laughs> like in the dorm room, like before I got my little first apartment, and so I was so, like, "If he's, let me make him a really bad lover, because that's where the joke's gonna be." And we, you know, I got a great cast on this one. I got me, Callie Hawk, Mike Epps comes in there and tears it up. Atheon Crockett, mm -hmm. it's so funny in this movie. Um, funny in all your movies. He always is. Yeah. People <laughs> underestimate Atheon's one of those guys that you know. Yeah. He, he got next. He's just one of those dudes that's yeah. so versatile, yeah. and he's always so funny. Because I give you the floor. I'm like. Like, all right, here's the character. Now, you know, bring you to it. And Atheon always comes with it. So, And he's hilarious in this movie. So y'all check it out, January 29th. How do you yes. get anything done on the movie set with all these with people? All like, you guys. You know what's funny? With all you ADD. <laughs> Comedians. <laughs> Comedians, man. As ADD as I am, I become, they make me the straight guy. I got a wrangler. Somebody get Mike out the trailer. Get, get Mike. Put the weed down. Come get, we got to see to do right now, Mike. The producer, he comes <laughs> producer out, comes out but you know it, we save all the jokes like for action when we go action we go hard and then we we're tired after the take so it's like rest up get some lunch in you let's get back to it because we do nice long 25 minute takes and I, let, I just let everybody riff oh and then you just edit huh and i edit i edit the best stuff and what the, people love with working with me is they know i am i'm not no insecure hater if somebody comes on my movie and they do something funny and we laughing i'm finding every possible way to fit that in the movie yeah and do you come by that honestly is that a way in thing you guys really recognize or, I, or is was, there a brother who is a hater I, I, no no i was i was i was taught by yoda keenan is the yoda he's the yoda of comedy only yeah. thing he don't do is talk backwards but you know <laughs> Keenan, Keenan, teach you like the Jedi. You know, you let people get off. Mm. If you think about it in Living Color, everybody yeah. got yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. So much so that not only did Jim Carrey, Damon, some J Jamie Foxx, me, Sean, all come from that tribe. Even the dancers got famous. Jennifer yeah. Lopez. You got J Lo yeah. making yeah. hundreds of millions of dollars. So Keenan, Keenan got vision. He recognized. He's a kingmaker. Yeah. He's a kingmaker. He just need a management company. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> did you have problems financing this movie? Mm -mm. It was funny. This is one of those movies. Why are you people funny? Because when you go to, you know, you have an idea. If they don't get it, they're, mm, I, I don't know if I want to give it a dollar for that. But the minute you go, all right, so here's the thing. It's called Fifty Shades of Black. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Check. No, I love it. How much you need? <laughs> How much you need? I'm, I'm writing this out my checking account. <laughs> <laughs> Can, when you spell black, can you call it Blizzak? <laughs> and shades, can you make it S? Instead of an S, can you make it a Z backward? <laughs> my man, my man. <laughs> no, but it was an easy sell. And then because what they think is they go, I love the title. I love the fact that you're in it. I know what you do. And when they take it overseas to sell at cans, mm -hmm. we sold like, you know, uh, we sold the budget of this movie at can so wow. basically you know we we sold through like it, it's even going overseas so this hopefully will be a big one i'm i'm, I'm hoping because you know there's a lot of wins is to take care of <laughs> <laughs> it, it's how actually i got a GoFundMe account <laughs> <laughs> feed a hungry wins yes baby see a wins movie Wayans. and feed a hungry there's five born every three seconds <laughs> 15 was born during this announcement <laughs> Yes, Sherry. How you doing, baby girl? You know, the thing that I love about you, Marlon, we did stand up at the Imp at Caroline's in oh, um, yeah. New York. Yeah. And they made Marlon do clean the entire night. You MC the show. You know, and I have no idea how I did that. You were sweating bullets, but you were great. I wasn't sweating because of the show. I was sweating because I don't know how I'm going to last that long without cursing. <laughs> That's why my interviews is like five minutes long. Cause, 
<laughs> and only place I can really do it well is here, because Tom looked like he gonna spank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be on my best behavior. Hello, Mr. Sir. Right. Tom turned me into an old slave. Hello there, Mr. Sir. How you doing, boss? <laughs> yes, sir. I don't look Mr. Jordan in his eyes. I just look down the floor when I'm in his show. <laughs> <laughs> you was funny, Sherry. You was really, really funny. Thank you still, you, you still on that stage, right? I'm still on the stage. You better because you're funny. Boy, so, you had me cracking up. Why would they well, have so maybe you I could do audition the for your movie? Comedy. Because it was for a brand. It was for uh, Clorox and bleach. Uh, it was for Clorox. <laughs> they get clean and really bleach. Clean. You got to get clean. <laughs> but they told Marlon. For white at clothes the last and white minute. people. So you. <laughs> <laughs> some some of the comedians didn't get the memo, boy. They were, Michael Che, uh, Mo Che oh, was up there, boy, and he looked, Night Live, yeah. and he had no yes. idea. He didn't get he didn't get briefed because when <laughs> you do a corporate gig, you gotta sit down you with white people mm-hmm. and you go, all right, so tell me what y'all want, right? And yes. give me the parameters. What can I say? And you gotta ask those questions. Michael Che came in there. Mike was just he was he was like, I'm doing a set, and it was it, it, I'm doing a set at two thirty in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but of he all said black the N word like twelve times. The Oscar the Oscar nominations are, are coming out today. Okay, any I mean, minute. Any minute now. All right, well, all right. Um, we, we can find the next movie to, to spoof. You know what? <laughs> What's funny is I it, it hits me. I don't care about like nomination. Everybody's mm-hmm. like, oh my god, Fifty Shades of Grey got nominated for so many Razzies. Aren't you happy about that? You know what's funny? That movie made $560 million Crazy. worldwide. Wow. When I do a parody or I do a send-up of a movie, it, it, it's not because it's successful. Mm-hmm. I just look at the movie, and as I'm watching the movie, a thousand jokes come to my head, and I know I can make an audience full of people laugh. Yeah. And that's why I do it. I'm inspired to do it. I don't want to just do it for money. You know, uh, you know, I'd be a short career. So I do it because I'm inspired. So... Um, I think one of these days I'm, I'm gonna do a, a parody of all the Oscar movies, uh, oh, yeah. all in one movie. That'd be that'd be fun. I just want to do a parody of radio. <laughs> a parody oh, of radio. I want to do iPod. Just like, <laughs> 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 they always got the black man being some kind of uh, he's slow, you know. Right. <laughs> Why we always gotta be slow? But genius. But white people love him. He's our mascot. <laughs> Radio the teaches side. us. <laughs> what the hell are he going to teach you? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm going to be at the... Uh, so January 22nd, the, uh, the show comes out. I mean, the movie comes out, uh, Fifty Shades of Black. Um, I'm going to be the doing 29th, stand-up yeah. at the... I'm sorry, the 29th right. of January, uh, Fifty Shades of Black. I'm at. The, I'm doing stand-up at the Orpheum Jan- Theater at January 29th in New Orleans. Uh, February tw- 12th through the 14th, I'm at Caroline's on Broadway. February 19th, I'm at the Aztec Theater in San Antonio. And lastly, February 20th, I'm here. I'm going to be in Dallas, House of Blues, Dallas, Texas. Y'all come see me. Awesome. Yes, get that work. Get it in. I'm grinding, man. I want to be like you. Hard. I, 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 well, I you want to be light and bald? I want to be light and bald <laughs> in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk. <Yeah. laughs> Huggy next. 25 past the hour.